I have not touched any of that stuff in years and I have absolutely no inclination to do so. And this is how I stay on track. <laughs> So I'm a firm believer in earning my breakfast. It's really hard for me to have an appetite in the morning if I'm not exerting myself ahead of time. Working out first thing in the morning is so great for so many reasons, right? But first and foremost, it develops that special circumstance in your body where all your glycogen stores are used up, so hunger is just a natural response. That is why it is so easy for me to eat raw vegetables first thing in the morning. I'm not crazy, <laughs> or so I've been told, and I truly cannot get enough of this. I know I'm super predictable, but I have been cutting up these veggies the night prior every day for the past like two and a half years. And I have also spoke to my doctor <laughs> about being malnourished or if there's anything abnormal, I guess you would say, to be eating the same thing for breakfast every single day. But when you look across societies, most people tend to do that in slight different variations from day to day. But for the majority of the time throughout the week, people eat on average the same thing for breakfast with maybe slight tweaks here and there, like blueberries in their oatmeal instead of strawberries or something like that. So rest assured, raw broccoli is perfectly delicious first thing in the morning. So it's about nine o'clock. That's typically where I like to break my fast. Up until this point, I've just been drinking water while I was working out and then a little bit of carbonated water while I was doing some work on the computer. That has kept me fully satisfied up until this point. I don't drink coffee. And if this sounds overly regimented, that's perfectly fine. You don't by any means have to follow anything that I'm doing in this video. I just like to show people my strategy for maintaining a healthful diet and not regressing back and forth and back and forth into these highly palatable foods and these processed items that are so ubiquitous in our food supply right now. I have not touched any of that stuff in years and I have absolutely no inclination to do so. And this is how I stay on track, <laughs> making sure I fast for those typically 17, 18 hours every day, exercise first thing in the morning, hydrate. Oh, and sleep. Who can forget about sleep? Sleep and stress management. Those cannot be underappreciated by any extent. All right, I'm gonna eat my veggies and catch up with you guys in a bit. So I have been particularly spoiled this week because Stacy, my friend and I, went to the farmer's market yesterday and they have a full selection of Romanesco for anybody who has not tried this stuff, it is amazing. It is like super spiky, but yet really fluffy and delicious. It's almost like a nutty flavor. It's very unique. I am going to snack on this while I get the rest of my breakfast ready. So this is gonna be the main starch component. What's gonna keep me fueled uh, for several hours until I'm gonna have my final meal later in the afternoon. So I'm just gonna chop up some bok choy while the pan heats up. And then I'm gonna throw in some frozen turnip greens and a variety of seasonings, minced garlic, cayenne pepper, curry powder, pepper, some beans, and I'm gonna throw that on top of some squash. You really don't need any water or any other kind of liquid to cook this because the vegetables already hold so much water content. So you can just throw this right into a hot pan, saute it, and all of those flavors will be concentrated and delicious. 
All right, I'm gonna add some of my seasonings, my curry, some spice, adding that cayenne, not too much, plenty of black pepper. Mix that up a little bit. You gotta be real careful with greens. You don't wanna damage those nutritive properties by leaving them on the heat too long. I'm gonna throw in some of these pre-prepared uh, kidney beans. I'm just gonna warm them up in the pan. Maybe add a little bit more curry. All right, this looks great. So I'm going to set it aside and get my squash plated. is the rest of my breakfast. Curried greens, beans, and buttercup squash. This is truly amazing, you guys. Just packed with flavor. I admit, I put a little too much garlic in here, <laughs> but for the most part, it's really delicious. All the flavors really come together. And I love these fall dishes. But also people are so afraid to put greens on their meals, but I throw greens in everything. I mean, first of all, it's like the healthiest food on the planet. So it just makes sense to put it in everything. But people think that it kind of has to go in a certain meal or um, has to be prepared a certain way. But you really can do just about anything with greens. You can throw them into soups, salads, obviously, smoothies, uh, stews, stir fries, anything and everything. And every green has a slightly different flavor. So I really wouldn't be too particular about which type. I just grab a variety. So I wanna make sure I grab something different every time to get the full gamut of the nutrient profiles. So don't neglect your greens. They're so delicious. Mm. I know I'm super weird and I stand while I eat. I just don't like sitting that much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat this and get some work done. And then I will see you guys for lunch. A great strategy to keep your insulin levels in check and maintain your weight is to walk for about 10 minutes after each meal. Not only does it help with digestion, but it's a great way to stay active <laughs> while your cells are trying to take up all that glucose that you just ingested. So this is a great tip that I learned from Dr. Hanna Kaliova. If you guys wanna check out that full presentation that she provided to my viewers, I will link that video here. I also wanted to mention that I'm still taking my B12 um, about every other day, depending on you know what's going on and whether or not I remember it. It's really not something that I feel is necessary to be super stringent about because our body's super sophisticated and it knows how to preserve um, nutrients when we need them. And we have reserves of B12. But also <laughs> in line of, of being more frugal and saving money, with all the inflation and everything that's going on in the world right now. I stopped drinking so much carbonated water and now I'm drinking lemon water. It's a lot more economical and it's got vitamin C in it and you know, all those good things in citrus. So, um, just wanted to update you on that. All right, so it's basically lunchtime. So I went ahead and cut up three different species of mushrooms. These are some white button, some shiitake, and uh, there's some baby bellows in there. So I like to get at least three different species of mushroom in my uh, diet each week for health benefits. And they're so delicious. For anybody who is a meat eater or used to be a meat eater and you're just craving that unami flavor, this is what is going to provide that in a healthy vegan plant-based diet. Now I'm just gonna add some fresh tomato that we also got from the farmer's market. And you'll actually get the most benefit from eating 
uh, several species of mushrooms that I have in here, the white button and the baby bellas, slightly cooked, as well as tomatoes, lightly cooked, to bring out that lycopene. And for the mushrooms, it reduces that carcinogenic effect that you would get had you not heated them. I feel like most people take mushrooms for granted. They don't realize that we have receptors in our gut that solely respond to mushrooms. They have a lot of weight loss benefits as well. So now I'll just put these in the microwave for about a minute and that should suffice. Okay, next we are going to add the salad ingredients. This ginormous salad is something that I prep weekly. This is a non-negotiable for me. So in this particular batch, I have some bok choy, cilantro, banana peppers, ikama, red cabbage, green cabbage, broccoli sprouts, baby kale, lacinato kale, and some spinach, I believe. So this is going to be the bulk of my salad today. All right, so I'm going to put this towel back in here for what's remaining to help keep the moisture out. Now I'll be adding my seasonings. I try to eat a half a teaspoon of turmeric every day, but it is incredibly earthy, so you don't want to add too much. Organic no salt seasoning. Ground ginger. And black pepper, this always enhances the bioavailability, particularly for the turmeric. This is really beneficial because otherwise you don't absorb much of the turmeric. And then I have my kelp flakes to make sure I get plenty of iodine, but don't use too much because it has 1,092% of your daily recommended value of iodine. So make sure you just sprinkle that on if you're going to use it. This is kelp. Specifically, if you use dulse, I believe those aren't as potent. So you don't have to be as judicious. Lots of people use this for a salt alternative. Honestly, I could really do without the salt. I'm just interested in the uh, iodine. Ooh, last but not least, some chipotle powder for some of that heat and smoky flavor. Again, don't add too much because this stuff gets hot real fast. I like to mix this with a fork so I don't get like a huge taste of turmeric or a huge taste of ginger. That's not appetizing. All right, now I'm gonna add the tomatoes. These are so juicy. And the mushrooms. This stuff is way out of my comfort zone. I am not a fan of added sodium and this has naturally a ton of sodium because it is a fermented food. So it's just green cabbage, kosher salt, and caraway seed for the ingredients. And really you can't have fermented foods without that component because it helps to reduce the harmful bacteria. So I just toss a little bit on my salad from time to time. I'm gonna add a little bit of this white wine vinegar. You don't need much, especially after adding all that sauerkraut. And lastly, we have some sunflower seeds, raw, organic, no salt, nothing roasted. These provide a little bit of vitamin E and the rest of those healthy fat components. All right, here is the finished product. Make sure you give this video a like if you found it helpful or if you were at all inspired by some of my tips and meals. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.